Hello guys, this is Hamoudi from Bilu Media. Welcome to my channel and today we will talk about these guys. This is the stack, the mini stack from MAPS for the 5 inch drone that I am building. I am building using uh, the Impulse RC Apex Evo uh, DC version, dead cat version. And it's really, really nice uh, frame. Thank you very much Impulse RC for giving me this uh, frame for this project. And we are using as well these amazing motors from MAPS 2. Thank you MAPS. These are the 2207 uh, 1950 kV, which is really, really great. I, I love how they look very much and they are really great for this build. This is a 6S uh, build. And here we have SZ 45 amps ESC, which is uh, enough in my opinion for this build. And we have the S. Z F7. This is an F7 uh, flight controller. Let's open the ESC and see what we have inside. We have the space logo, which they have on all of uh, their products almost. And here we have the ESC, which will lock in a second. And here we have a bag full of goodies. So we have the battery lead, it's an XT60 uh, battery lead. We have a capacitor, 470 microfarad capacitor, and a grommets, and some cables to attach the ESC to the flight controller. I don't know why we have so much versions. I'm not sure about this, I think. Yeah, I think they are the same for different use cases, but it's good. And we have two, ah, we have two free, two free ones uh, for attaching uh, the wires. For example, if we have a different flight controller, a different um, scheme connection than this one, than uh, their flight controller, and then you can order your uh, wires as you want, which is really, really nice touch. So you have one that is already two that are already wired. I guess it one of them goes perfectly with this one. And the other ones you can uh, build how you want. The ESC is 45 amps ESC and it's uh, a small one. I mean, have the 20 by 20 holes. And here we have the 20 by 20 uh, stack uh, screws. You can put, of course, here uh, 30 by 30, but I want to use uh, this stack and this is why. Here we have motor number one, motor number two, three and four, but of course you can configure it uh, differently in um, beta flight, reorder the motors, I mean. And as you can see here, it is shiny. This means it is treated. I don't know if it is conformal coating or not, but it looks treated, treated and it is really um, Clean. It has a 45 amps ESCs and a peak uh, current of uh, 55, which is nice. And it has BL Heli 32 installed in the ESCs, which is really, really great. So you will not uh, have to flash the BL Heli, uh, the Blue J. Let's uh, see how much it weights. So it is around 10 grams plus minus. Let's open the F7 flight controller and as you can see it's really really small it's tiny flight controller which is good for uh, some applications and in this one I could use a bigger one but I want to use a smaller one for weight and I think it's really really nice this one and in the back we have some grommets some uh, cables, some wires to attach it uh, to the ESC, I guess. Although we have one on the ESC and one, I think, to attach the air unit. Let's see the, what we have on, uh, this, uh, control, on this flight controller. In this side, 
you see two backs. We have a 2 amp uh, 5 volts back and 10 volts uh, 2 amp back, which is uh, very good for attaching the air unit directly to this pad. Uh, we have plenty, I mean, uh, we have enough uh, power to power the DJI O3 unit without any problems. And here you have the uh, scheme of the flight controller. So let's start in this part. Here we have we, uh, the UART number three, which you can use to attach a GPS. So here you have the, the SCL, SDA, T3, R3, ground, uh, five volts and ground. So this is for the GPS. This one is for the buzzer and LED. So I think it's uh, for attaching either the buzzer or the LED. And here, this part is uh, for the analog VTX. This one is for attaching the DJI uh, air unit or the O3 and the CADEX uh, unit as well. And this one is for the VTX. So we have the T1 that is the same as this one, but you will use either this or yes, or this. This is for HD and this is for analog. T1, VTX, five volts and uh, ground. So here we have the receiver pads. We can use uh, the TBS, for example, which have has ground five volts R5 and T5, which is uh, available uh, for the ERRS receiver as well. So you, you will use this as well. And here you attach the analog camera as well. And here is the port where you attach, attach uh, this flight controller to the ESC and you have a cable in the box here and the cable in the ESC as well. So you, you will use either one of them. This is it guys for today. It's a really nice tech and really compact. I like how it looks and uh, the form factor is really small and it has all what you need and a strong processor. It has the F7 processor and the BMI 27, uh, 270 gyro. And then in the next uh, video, I will build uh, this uh, drone using this stack and the MEPS 2207 motors. So stay tuned for this and see you in the next one. Thank you very much uh, guys for watching and see you soon. Bye.